Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our next example of how to solve linear inequalities. Notice that this one has decimal points. So it's better to get rid of those decimal points and what we're going to do is multiply both sides of the inequality sign by 10. So we're going to multiply the left side by 10 and we're going to multiply the right side by 10. Which means that on the left side we end up with 4 minus 2x is greater than or equal to 10. That is a lot nicer to work with. We're still going to follow the same step as before. First, we're going to find the critical point. Now, in this case, there's only one point because it's a linear equation. If it's a quadratic equation, you, we can find possibly more points. So what we do is we take this and we turn that into an equal sign. So we're going to set 4 minus 2x equal to 10 and solve for x. So the next step we're going to do is move the 4 to the other side with minus 2x is equal to 10 minus 4 because when you cross the equal sign the sign changes minus 2x is equal to 6 and divide both sides by negative 2 we get x is equal to negative 3 this is the critical point the next step is we're going to draw a number line 4 negative Here's 1 0 negative 2 1 negative two, 3 and negative 4 and then we're going to locate that critical point it's right here we draw a circle around it now notice, since it says greater than or equal to, means the critical point is included in the answer, so we're going to fill in that little circle, which indicates that the number negative 3 is part of the solution. Now that critical point still divides the number line into two regions, number 1 and number 2. Number 1 is the region to the left of that point, number 2 is the region to the right. Now we need to check to see which of the two regions satisfies that inequality. To do that, we just simply pick a point. For example, we'll pick negative 4 out of region 1 and test our inequality to see if it satisfies inequality. So we're going to do test 1. We're going to let x equal negative 4. We plug that in here, so we get 4 minus 2 times the negative 4 greater than or equal to the number 10, and that's a question mark. We don't know, we're going to find out. We plug this in, we get the following. 4 minus 2 times a minus 4 is a plus 8. Is that greater than or equal to 10? Question mark. Well, 12 greater than or equal to 10. And the answer is yes, it is. Because that's what we're trying to find out. Which means that we picked a point, this point right here, that's the point that we tested with. We picked a point from the region that satisfies inequality, which means all the points to the left of that critical point satisfy the inequality and we presume none of the points on the right, but let's check and see. So we're going to do test number two. To do that, we're going to plug in another point. I always like to pick x equals zero if I can, because that makes things a lot easier to work with, and we plug that into our inequality. Four minus two times zero. Is that greater than or equal to 10? Question mark. Of course, two times zero is zero, and so we get four greater than or equal to 10? Question mark, and the answer is no which means none of these points satisfy the inequality, only the points to the left of, of negative 3, including negative 3, which means that the answer can simply be written by stating that x must be less than or equal to negative 3, and all x's that satisfy this satisfy the original inequality. And that's how we do that.